I consider myself a pretty calm man. It'll take a lot to get me angry. Is that? You're not going to subscribe? What? How dare you not subscribe? How dare you subscribe? No, <laughs> when we're feeling angry, we are less likely to think clearly. This affects our ability to make decisions and causes us to whiff our lives and cause bridge incidents. As a society, we have learned to fear anger, as anger causes fighting, and fighting is obviously bad unless you're an orb from Warhammer 40k, which makes anger bad. The reality is that anger is a signal that one of your needs are not being met. It's an emotion that works in the same way that a dashboard light warning us to check our engine works. In much the same way, people often don't check on it and hope it goes away. It doesn't. You can tell that my car always works fine because my engine light is always on. Anger works in three steps. I'll break it down line by line. This is emotional development in a nursery rhyme. She sells seashells on the seashore, but someone took her shells and are no more. Due to the laws of justice fair go, she has been duly wrong, because her shells are no more. Step one, your body sees that one of your needs has a scarcity. Anger falls a stretch for what people want is ready. See, bear with me, motivate us to act from feelings like hurt that arise. Step two, the body has to increase emotional arousal, like really up the arousal, fight or flight now. Influence, propelled by fear, the body features adrenal satiation. Step. Three, demanding thinking, you're blaming others, tears leaking, start up angry, make demands for our property. Where are my shells? That will be what you want from me. Swallow all your logic, they're a reasonable man's quality. Basically, when something bad happens to us, our body identifies that one of our needs are going unmet, which causes a feeling like hurt or fear, which motivates us to act. Our inflamed emotional states cause us to blame others for making us angry, instead of identifying that you feel hurt or scared because you are a cat that didn't get enough salami. Essentially, getting angry at someone is caused when instead of focusing on the unmet need, you instead do what's called demanding thinking, where you blame someone else for making you reach an emotional state. Put it mathematically, anger arising when a need is not met, plus the fear that the need will not be met equals demanding thinking and thus anger. How can we prevent this from happening? Well, we can do this in six easy steps that I will not attempt to wrap. Firstly, stop for a second and take a few deep breaths. <sighs> That's one and a half closer. This is so, in the famous words of the Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy, you don't panic. Step two is to attempt to identify the underlying unmet need which is causing your anger. Such unmet needs can include love, attention, food, pleasure, seashells, and other fundamentals. The third step is to attempt to find a thought that is causing the direction of your anger. This can be found pretty easily by looking at the word should in the thought. For example, David should stop being a f***ing cunt. Step four, try and remember what your main goal or purpose is. If your emotional stir was because someone called you a Ignore that and attempt to figure out why they are rejecting you emotionally. Step five is to express your unmet need with the person you are going to get angry against, as well as your feelings. And finally, step six is to make a request to the other person to fulfill the aforementioned need and attempt to do this in a neutral manner. Like you're trying to navigate a fan base and don't want to start a flame war. The general idea is that when people push your buttons, they are simply looking at an alien machine. They did not build you. They weren't the god that thought, I am going to intentionally make this person able to get easily butthurt by something and then 10 years down the line activate that sensitivity just for shits and giggles. That is to say, their actions don't cause your feelings. Those feelings already existed and they just activated them. That is what anger is. Yeah.